Hi guys, welcome once again to a Gaz Labs teeny tiny video. And today I've got something quite interesting. Well, I think it's quite interesting. This is an EH antenna. Now, believe it or not, this is about 450 millimeters long, give or take, um, maybe 400 mil long. And it's 50 mil diameter. It's got a couple of uh, fence post caps in there, top and bottom. SO239 adapter -y thing there. This is a 1.5 millimeter um, mains twin and earth cable. This is pulled from a twin and earth uh, bit of cable. This is Guinness tin, which has been roughed up along these, uh, these, ed these edges and then so that all the, the plastic coating and everything is off so they conduct uh, nicely. Um, there is a, like a tuning coil or an induct, you know, this is the, um, the coupling coil, main inductor there. And then obviously this is the main transmitting or um, part of the antenna. Well, you know, it's a, it, there's, a, there's a lot of information about these on the internet. They're quite complex and a lot of people swear by them. Um, I'm not so, I'm not so, um, not so taken with, I don't think that they're actually as good as um, people think, or some think people think. They, I, 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 what I found with one of these is I actually had a, a proper bought one and um, I had it up on the top here because I can't really put very much here. And I had a two of these. I had a, I bought a 40 and a 20. And what I found was that I had a lot of RF in the shack. And when I trapped all the RF back and actually stopped it from causing any hassle, um, the antenna just stopped transmitting um, or it, the efficiency of it just went down the pan. So I think it needs a bit of coax and it needs the mast it's on um, as well so that kind of makes me think that it's using that as part of the antenna system so um, again you know I'm, I'm not really it would be nice uh, for someone um, who's knowledgeable in this sort of area to maybe you know um, explain exactly what, what's going on with these but they are quite complex things and there's an awful lot of uh, information around um, on the, the web from from um, you know, uh, ac academics even on them. So um, interesting project. So recommend you have a go. So let's have a quick look and see it. Um, see what it's tuned to. I think you might be surprised. Um, now down here, I've got my old trusty BR510 analyzer. Now, that's just a bit. Well, there you go. Let's take a bit of tension out of it. Now, this here, it is tuned to about. Now, if I if I touch, I think give it a little bit of uh, something to work against. It is tuned to. Where was it? Uh, it seems to to change quite readily. I mean. Oh, that'll do it. Learn to use your meter, Gary. There you go, 14. 14, 2. So it's it's getting there, it's almost tuned. So let's get it away from some of this stuff. Maybe it's just a bit unhappy with that because it is actually tuned at about 14, 4, I think it was. Okay, maybe it's gonna, it wants to be, it's very temperamental, I'll give it that. Um, it's very wild, but you can sort of see that it's almost there. Um, and I could never get it just about right. Um, it was um, always just close, but never, I never got it quite 100% right. I mean, you only have to go near it. I mean, you can see this. I mean, if I, if I show you this here, I mean, you, 
no matter what you do, wherever you put it, it's always a bit of a, a um, bit of a nightmare. Um, there you go. So it's it's sort of getting there. Um, but it just it's because I'm touching the case of the uh, the analyzer. I'm actually becoming sort of part of the, the the system. But it's also tuned somewhere else as well. I think it was about around yes, yeah, about forty seven megs, and it is like you know it's amazingly almost tuned. I mean, I think I had a very low SWR around here. I mean, it's under 1.5. They're about 47 megs. So, I mean, I think you'll find, I think you'll agree that it is quite a, a an interesting sort of project. And it was just like an evening's work. It wasn't anything spectacular um, to, or to do. Um, it was quite fiddly. But it's an interesting project. What I'll try and do is I'll try and dig the information out because what I found was the uh, there's quite a lot of information, as I say, for these on there. And the, the diagrams and stuff I worked from to create this actual one, um, I can't find. So I'm going to go, I'll chalk through the web and try and find it. If I can, I'll, I'll put the link in down the bottom um, or at least copy it to a PDF or something and put it on a drive for, for you guys to have a look at. Um, so yeah it's very interesting um so there you go a guinness can eh antenna thanks for watching see you soon